All right. So, hello, hello. No, that's not good. Hey, you guys. It's MJ, and welcome back to Pet Adventures again. So, let me see if I can get behind this Christmas tree a little bit. Okay. That's a nice view. <coughs> um... Okay, I'm not funny. I'm not funny. Anyways, uh, so I'm gonna get some updates out of the way. I know you guys probably want some updates. Um, overall update, basically every animal's doing good except for one animal, which is pretty good. There's been times when some of my animals, like I'd had a series of animals not doing good. And I don't know if you guys realize this. Um, I'm gonna go into this later on in some kind of video in the future. But, um, let's see if I can get a good view there. I'll just sit, I'll just sit on here um, and have Poggy in the back. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Huh? Yeah? He doesn't want to say hi. He hates everyone. Poggy is, by the way, my, he's my outcast cat. <laughs> he's the weirdest cat we have. Anyway, um, so, you, uh, rude. Hey, rude. Anyways, um, I'm going to get some updates out of the way, you guys. But, uh, oh, yeah, what I was saying is sometimes it does stress me out a lot if I'm having a lot of failures. I know that that's, that's part of keeping pets is accepting that you might fail sometimes. Um, and that's sometimes how you learn. The more you fail, the more you learn. And from my experience, that's how I learn. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I get so stressed out, you guys. And if I look tired, it's because I am. Don't worry, I didn't get much sleep last night. Um, not for any particular reason. It's not a bad reason or anything, but anyways, um, one pet right now that's not doing good, and as you guys know, you probably already know, it's Candy. Um, at this point, I don't even want to show you what Candy looks like because it's terrible. I think I'm going to euthanize him. I know that's really sad, but I don't want him to suffer any longer, and I've already did my fair share of crying over this, of, of stressing over this. There's nothing else I can really do. I've medicated him and he just slowly started getting worse and worse. I don't know. Maybe I over-medicated him. I don't really know. Either way, though, there's nothing I can do at this point except for just make sure that he has a clean tank and that everything in his tank is always clean and fresh and new um, and just make sure that everything runs smoothly. That's the only thing I can do at this point. So I'm not going to bicker on that for too long, but you know, as you guys know, that's just not doing good. But other than him, I'm going to show you guys everybody else who was doing great. I'm just gonna go by each pet, talk a little bit about them, and give you guys some updates. I've done this before, but, um, you know, I figure you guys uh, deserve to know some, some truthful updates on all my pets, so let's get started. So I don't I don't feel like it's a, uh, a bad thing to put updates on my cats. I feel like I never do, so Poogie. Come here, baby. So this is Poogie, you guys, my weird cat. <laughs> You can just tell by that face. Look at that. That's not a normal face. Anyways, um, so he's doing good. All my cats are doing pretty good for the most part. And then we have Jack over there. Jack is my outside cat. He's doing all right. He's doing pretty normal for himself. So we have our tree put up here. So we're going to go into the hall here. And this is my Crested Gecko's cage. So a cool update that I have is um, I got a new ledge. So I don't know if you can see that. You can see that that well? Yeah. So this is the new ledge for my Crested Gecko, Waffle, and um, I know you guys love my little Crusty here. So he got a brand new ledge, it's really really cute, and I actually got this as a birthday gift for my boyfriend, so he knew I really wanted it. So an update on my tank, my tank is running really 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 well. Um, all my mollies are just thriving, you guys, and don't worry. We actually got everything, another update here is, um, we finally got me some black sand. We actually got my light too, so we got black sand, we got my light, we got everything ready for my 20 gal. All I have to do is start putting it together and waiting for it to cycle right and then, you know, slowly we'll put in new fish. So, I know it's been taking super, 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 super long, um, but, um, we do have the 20 gal and it'll be ready in no time. I assure you by next month it'll probably already be set up. So we're planning on next water change for, to start like setting it up. So and back here as you guys know this is Brownie's cage. There's a few things that are different. So here's one thing that's different. 
I actually put fleece in the cage, as you guys know. Um, well, I uh, I got a question recently if fleece can be in you know in your mouse's cage, and it certainly can. So basically, what I did was I took scraps of fleece that I wasn't going to use for the ratties, and I gave it to Brownie. So I hooked him up on top with just a bunch of zip ties. Super easy, cut holes. And uh, if you guys want a DIY on this, I mean, I can do it, but I feel like, you know, it's pretty simple, you know. They're just, it's just pieces of fleece hooked up with zip ties, and honestly, I don't feel like people know this as much as they should. Um, mice, in some ways, not, oop, my bad. <laughs> mice, in some ways, are, are very uh, similar to rats. So, meaning that they basically are really agile, and they really like to climb a lot, so, um... You know, if you have a mouse, try to put some stuff in there that they can climb on. Like, you see I have this ladder. He actually likes to climb on the big wheel, too, on top of it. He has this hammock, and then he has this brand new little pineapple house. Um, I think I might have seen him go in it a couple times. So I have that as a little, like, hanging bed kind of a thing. And I also have another little ladder here. It's originally made for birds, but um, that's another great thing. You can use bird toys for mice. So, um, and I have seen him go in these hammocks pretty much every day, so definitely worth making. Um, Brownie himself is doing great. He's super healthy right now. He's always eating. He's always getting all kinds of new snacks, really fun, healthy snacks that I give him. And, uh, you know, his cage is looking nice, and yeah, he's, he's doing really, really well, so. I did forget to mention, however, I did recently lose a fish. It's actually been quite a while since I've lost a fish. Um, in my community tank. It really has been a while. Unfortunately, a guppy that we raised uh, did not make it. She ended up getting constipated and I was unable to save her. So that's unfortunate, but I did keep her for a little while and we did raise her as a baby. I was devastated, but you know, there wasn't much I could do at that point. So here we have the gecko tanks. Here's Tink's tank and here's Diagon's tank. Now they're not out right now, but um, I'm just going to give a quick update. I don't know if you guys know, but I have these cute little Beanie Babies hanging on top of their cage because I thought it would be fun. And surprisingly, um, Diagon likes to climb on his, which I think is pretty cool. He gets right on top of that rock, and then he gets on top of this Beanie Baby here. So what are you doing? Oh, gosh. He wants attention. Anyways, um, but yeah, they're doing absolutely great, super healthy. Um... Tank is doing really, really good. Diagon's doing perfect. So I, I pretty much never have problems with you guys with my geckos. Like I said, really, really hard to get a gecko to be sick. Super easy care, and all you have to do is just make sure, you know, come by their cage and make sure they're all right once every day at least. And yeah, everything's doing really great with them. So here's little Axel. Axel's been doing pretty good. Um, I had a small problem with his tank recently. Um, it would get really, really cloudy and foggy. Um, so I took, he still has a bubbler in here, but I took his, uh, like, sponge filter out, and I'm letting it dry out. So, ever since I've removed that, I haven't had any problems with cloudy water. So I have a feeling that that was why it was being like that. But Axel's been good, super active, and a little update here is, I don't know if you noticed, but when I first got Axel, he was mostly white, and now he's turning blue. So, that can happen with fish, they can just change colors. He's a very bright, beautiful blue, and I still love it, so. Update on Zaldin, slash Xena, we still don't know, because I'm not good at sexing tarantulas when they're young, but, um, not gonna disturb them too much. Probably can't see too well, but, um, this little guy's doing super well, and I am finally ready to start building the new tank for my tarantula so it's basically this tank just bigger so I don't really have a real place to put it so I'm gonna have to put it over here on top of my leopard gecko tanks but definitely ready for Zaldin slash Xena <laughs> to uh, to get in a bigger cage because you know he's finally growing and he's gonna be a big boy before I know it so he's gonna be upgraded to a big tank super soon either tomorrow or maybe three or four days from now I don't know but super soon um, maybe you know I was thinking of actually live streaming <laughs> setting up <laughs> the tank I don't know if that's a good idea but I was really thinking of doing a live stream where I'm setting up my um, 
tarantula tank. I don't know. I've seen KG Tropicals and, you know, like do like water changes while he does a live stream and talk about it. So I thought, why not maybe try to do that? Or maybe I should just do a water change on a live stream. I don't really know. But yeah, so super good there. Igor, however, is doing wonderful. <laughs> um, he couldn't be better. And as you guys know, he had a tail problem, tail issue along the way at some point. Now his tail is actually finally growing back. I don't know if it's going to grow back beautifully, but it's going to grow back and he's going to be happy and healthy and that's all that matters to me in the end. Um, so the ledge right here was my crusties, and now I gave it to him. So that's something that's new and other than that, everything is perfectly good with Ig. And uh, yeah, I actually did a cage tour <laughs> on his cage at one point, but I ended up like messing with the video or something and I don't know, I just didn't, I don't know, I just didn't put it up. So over here we're going to the tanks. Um, Penelope, my new uh, Ryukin, is doing great. Panda is doing great. Clover, which is our smallest one right now, is doing great. And then up there we have Pearl and the others up there. So we have all our little babies. Everyone at this top tank is doing beautifully and everyone in here is doing beautifully. I just hope we keep it that way, but unfortunately we are having a problem with Cappy. Now Cappy isn't doing terribly, uh, she was at first, but she's in this small quarantine type tank right now. She's fasting because <clears throat> she ended up getting um, swim bladder issues, which is very common in goldfish, especially the short body goldfish. And um, also the reason why she's in this like super tiny tank is because the shorter it is the better. When they're having swim bladder issues it's really good to keep them in like the, the, uh, like the thinnest tank you can get I guess but without it being too uncomfortable. So you know when you're having swim bladder issues honestly just get like a very 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 shallow um, enclosure when they're having problems like that because it really does not make it any easier whatsoever when you have a deep tank. So, and a lot of people um, on YouTube, like Jenny from Solid Gold and Aquarium Co-op, and you know everybody, they'll they'll agree with this, I believe. So, um, they say that with swim bladder issues, there's nothing much you can do. But honestly, I think we've been seeing a bit of improvement. I'm I'm not making any promises, of course, that she's gonna pull through, but. Um, she's been doing better here and there, so she was worse a, a few few days ago, so. But she's fasting, we're trying to get things out of her system. Um, we treated her with some Epsom salt at some point, I think that really helped, um, you know, get some stuff out of her digestive system, and let's, let's just hope it helps. So, this is probably the most favorite update of you guys. Updates on the Raddies, everyone's doing swimmingly perfect. Um, I never really had problems with my raddies, to be honest, you guys, so um, it, it'll be very rare that I'll get problems with my rats because I keep them in really good health. Their cage is clean just about every day. Well, actually, I would say the, a full cage cleaning is about every other day. Sometimes maybe I'll skip two days, but I don't, usually don't do more than that. And uh, spot cleaning is done every day. So that is that is a drawback. I'm not gonna lie to keeping rats. You know they're very messy and dirty and stinky sometimes um, if you don't clean them enough. And uh, you just give him a little bit of licking. Mm, so I know, I know, I know. You just love to lick, 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 lick. This boy is a kiss up. He's a kiss up. Yes, he is. He just loves to kiss up to me. <laughs> I love you, Charlie. Um, so all the rowdies are doing absolutely great. Um, I'm not having any issues with them, so. And here's Lucky right now. See, I know, I know, I know. This is my luck boy. And uh, I have been having a few issues with Lucky. I feel like his aggression has took off a bit more. I don't know what's triggering it, honestly, when I take him out to play, I feel like he tries to dominate me. And I feel like when I try to dominate him, because that is the role I should be playing, I should be his alpha, you know? Um, I feel like when I try to be his alpha, he just can't stand it. So I feel like he has a lot of dominant issues, so I'm going to try to work on that a bit more. He's always had problems with dominant issues ever since he started maturing, but let's just hope I can fix something, you know? Yeah. 
part of the problem why he can't really be with other rats because he needs to be the alpha in any pack. And he's also very sensitive. It's very hard to touch him. And I know he's not in any pain because he's been to the vet. You know, they checked him for everything. And, you know, he doesn't have mites anymore. He doesn't have any issues, really. So I know he's not hurting. So he's just super touchy and sensitive, too. So I don't know. All right, so a little update here on my ball python, Phoenix, as you guys know him. He's just uh, kind of getting curious and looking out. So he's doing great. He's doing really, really, really good. Um, and I haven't had any issues with him. He shed recently. He's getting a bit bigger. Uh, let me see if I can take him out, kind of show you. Right now, this is, oops, this is kind of what he looks like in my hand at the moment, so. He's not that huge. And this is like kind of comparing him to my face, sort of. Like, not my face, but like my head. So, still not that big of a boy, but he's around like three feet now. So, or, or is it two feet? Maybe two feet. I don't know. Something like that. I know. No, I think he's two feet, actually. I think. And hopefully he gets up to four feet. That'll be really awesome. But he's doing great. No problems with eating. He eats like a boss, I'm telling you. Um, and he, uh... And he's doing great with shedding, humidity's great, temperature's great, everything's perfect with him, so doing really good. Princess, little princess, my little princess. So what you doing, huh? So yeah. So my little princess, my little loose, she's doing perfect. No problems or issues with her, really. Um, and yeah. So I guess that's basically my updates. Um, I haven't been working on tricks with Lucy recently and I really, really need to. What are you looking at? She's acting like she wants to hunt something. I don't know. I know, Jack. Huh? I know. <laughs> Anyways, um, as you guys can see, we kind of like black cats a little bit. Oh, big yawn. Yeah. But, uh, sorry, I'm getting off topic, but she's doing great. She's my little princess, and I haven't worked with tricks on her for a while, so I really need to start doing that. But other than that, you know, other than training, you know, she doesn't really need any improvement. I mean, the training's just for fun. It's just to kind of get her brain stimulated. Cats like having things to do, so teaching them tricks is a good way to stimulate their brain a little bit. And, you know, have them use it and stuff like that. I think it's always fun. I know. I know she loves to lick me so much. She's so loyal. So that is basically all my updates, you guys. Overall, everyone's doing pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know if you guys like seeing overall updates on my pets. Maybe I can do these about mm, once a month or once every other month, just giving you guys a full update on basically most of my pets. Um, and just, just so you kind of know what's going on with them, I feel like it, I feel like it's a personal thing, like a personal level between me and you guys when I show you guys my pets and I kind of just chill unscripted, well I guess I'm always unscripted, but like no makeup, don't give a shiznit, <laughs> um, um, because honestly if you guys watch me for just my looks, I don't have a lot going for me at that point, so I don't want to have to feel like I have to wear makeup all the time. Um, once in a while though it's always fun, you know, it makes me feel good, so. Yay! Um, but I'll see you guys later. Please let me know if you guys like pet updates. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. And please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And give this video a big thumbs up, especially if you love pets. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!